Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about 2D array. What is 2D array? A 2D array is a collection of more than one 1D arrays. It is also known as collection of rows and columns. As we have already discussed about 1D array, what, what was 1D array? It was a collection of more than one elements. Now, suppose we have more than one 1D arrays. And if we want to reduce them into a single variable, then we can combine all those 1D arrays into a single 2D array. So we can easily say that 2D array is a collection of 1D array. So here is declaration of a 2D array. First we have to write data type, then name of 2D array. Now first value will be number of rows and second value will be number of columns. Here, here are two examples. First is A of 3 by 4. It means in this array, total number of rows are 3 and each row will contain total 4 elements. In case of second example, number of rows are 2 and number of elements in each row is 3. Next is memory allocation. So for this purpose, we are using an array which is of 3 by 4 size, 3 number of rows and 4 number of elements in each row. So with the help of this diagram, we can find out that this is first row, this is second row and this one is third row. You can easily identify that in each row there are total 4 number of elements and these are indexes. Here first index is for row number and second index is for column number. So in case of first row, all these indexes starting from 0. So these zeros are representing that this is indexes of first row. In case of second row, these indexes are starting from 1. And in case of third row, they are starting from 2. With each 0, 1 or 2, we are using column index which are changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. So if we want to access first element, we have to use index number 0, 0. For second element, 0, 1. For third element, 0, 2. For fourth element, 0, 3 and so on. Next is initialization of 2D array. So what is initialization? It means assignment of values at the time of declaration. So here uh, total uh, three declarations are available. First declaration is A 2 by 3. It means total number of rows are 2 and total number of columns will be 3. So it is OK. In case of second declaration, total number of rows are 2 but we have not mentioned total number of columns. So we can identify two rows with four, four elements. We can also identify first row with three elements and second row with, uh, sorry, first row with five elements and second row with three elements. So uh, we, cannot, we cannot easily identify how many elements will be in each row. So this statement is considered as not okay. The third statement is number of rows are blank but number of columns are 3. It means in each row there will be total 3 elements. So we can uh, we can uh, frame pairs of 3-3 three, three elements. So there are total 3 pairs so we can easily say that number of rows will be 3. So this statement is ok. Uh, there is a note at the time of initialization column size is must but row size is optional. Reading of 2D array. As we have studied that uh, to read 1D array we require one loop but in case of 2D array there are more than one 1D arrays so we require two loops. It is a nested formation. So first loop is i which is starting from 0. When value of i is 0 j will repeat total four times here. So first time the indexes will be 0 0 then 0 1 then 0 2 and then 0 3. So this uh, J loop will read 
first row completely after termination of j loop i becomes 1 and j will again start from 0 so next combination will be 10 11 12 1, 1, and 1 3 so using the uh, this nested formation we can read 2d array easily we can also use same nested loop for printing of 2d array so here this is outer loop and this is inner loop to separate each row we are using this printf statement which uh, displays slash n on the console so if we want to read a 2d array we have to use two loops if we want to print 2d array we have to use two loops this is an example of 2d array uh, in this example we are going to add all the elements of 2d array so this is the declaration of 2d array it is saying that we are going to read three rows and three elements in each row to read these elements we can use this formation of a nested loop using this scan of statement we are uh, reading 3 by 3 matrix for addition purpose we are again uh, going to use a uh, formation of nested loops and the statement s equals to s plus a of ij will add all the elements available inside 2d array which is of size 3 by 3 after completion of the uh, this uh, nested formation of loops this printf statement will print sum on the console so in case of 2d array first we have to re uh, read all the elements with the help of nested formation after completion of reading operation if we want to apply some process then again we have to use nested loop and if we want to print that 2d array we have to use nested formation of loops now it's your turn you have to do practice of these programs so that you can easily understand the working of 2d array so for uh, first program is uh, sum of uh, individual rows of 2d array second program is individual uh, sum of individual columns of 2d array third is sum of diagonal of 2d matrix then sum of reverse diagonal of 2d matrix then uh, sum of uh, two 2d arrays into third array uh, next one is uh, find out maximum from 2d array and last one is to print transpose of 2d array so try and uh, try and practice all these programs so that you can learn uh, how we can use 2d array in the programming thank you